Hey guys, what's happening? So in one of my previous videos, I showed you uh, an issue I was having with my SATA connectors burning up on my uh, PCI riser from my mining rig. So um, I'd actually solved the problem with one of my smaller mining rigs by directly soldering some uh, you know, six-pin connectors directly to the motherboard. And it also solved one of my crashing issues I was having with Team Red Miner. But since I actually had such good luck with that modification, I decided to do the same thing with my six GPU mining rig. And uh, But I couldn't find a good solution out there, so I, I designed something here in Fusion 360, which I think it's going to work. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to print it out. But it's actually going to be a PCI riser bus bar that's going to attach to the back of the 2020 rail and the back of the my mining rig. Uh, but let me take a show, take this apart, and I'll show you how it's going to work and what I'm going to do with it. So I've already ordered this stuff. I've ordered uh, six of the 6-pin uh, to 6 plus 2-pin adapters. And then uh, on this thing right here, um, this is going to be the bus bar that affix, attaches to the back of it. And... So I actually, we see the cuts, I actually, because my 3D printer is not big enough to print this thing in one shot, I have to print it in multiple pieces. That's why you see the different different bodies. But let me show you how this is going to work. So I've already ordered the six pin connectors. Um, so let me take turn the, these bases off here so you can see underneath it here. So underneath here, you're going to have a... It's going to be like a bus bar. I'm actually, sorry, I'm trying to get the right position here. I'm going to solder on some some wire. Uh, so I'm actually, the, the six-pin connector, the pins will come through here. And then I have a copper wire that goes down here. And then I'm going to solder those six-pin connectors onto this copper wire. And then from here, I'm either going to pull out a... Um, I'm actually probably going to, I'm either going to use an 8-pin connector. That way I can evenly distribute the load. Like, I don't need a lot of load. But the main thing is just having too many too many uh, things on a shared bus. Like, say if you have, like, multiple risers on, like, uh, one, like, a SATA cable going back to your power supply. Like, like most of these power supplies will come with, like, multiple SATA ports will be on one cable. And the problem is you only have one 12-volt wire going back to the power supply. So you quickly overload that power or that one wire and it burns it up or whatever. So, but by having multiple wires, you're distributing the load against multiple wires. So I made another video about it. Maybe I'll put a link up above so you can see what I'm talking about, the one I directly soldered it. Um, but so I'm going to actually have the wires come through here, and I can either actually open my power supply up and solder in some more heavy-duty wires, single wires, like, you know, like, maybe like 8-gauge or 6-gauge wires, um, which will feed off in here to the power supply. But I might just use an 8-pin connector, extra one I have, cut it off and solder it on there. But so it's going to go the, the wire itself. I think I'm going to go to the Home Depot and get um, some ground wire. I mean, even though I do already have some like thinner, like 12 gauge wire, which should probably be more than sufficient for what you're doing, because solid copper wire can run a lot more amperage than strand or st stranded wire. Um, you know, the flexible wire with multiple strands inside of it. So, yeah, so the, the thick, the main, the, the source wire, the power wire coming in will come through these holes. You know, obviously power positive, negative. Um, then I have two copper strips going down here, feeding all the actual six pin connectors. And then, um, yeah, I, I couldn't find a solution online. So <laughs> if there was a solution, like I said, I just would have bought it, you know. I'm actually running a Corsair uh, 1200 watt ATX power supply, but I'll come back. This will just be part one. And then in part two, I'm going to come back and I'll show you me building this thing. Like I said, I've already ordered the parts. I just wanted to kind of show you what I was working on here. Uh, yeah, I actually have a lot of 3D printing products going on right now. Like this right here. I'll make an everybody about this. My extruder system uh, that I'm working on. Um, okay. All right. So it's going to actually, I have this in three pieces because uh, this will be separate here. So having this piece right here with the, with the, uh, pan head uh, screws will actually make it so it sits flush against the actual 2020 rail and also we'll connect these two parts together here so that's it so I just got to print it out and see how it goes but yeah like I said like I had solved my my random reboot crashing issue on my other power supply rig 
So I figured, um, and also I save power too. Like having, you know, suck up more, you know, overloading your, your wires actually uh, draws power, actually uh, burns up uh, electricity. So you're losing efficiency by not having the right wires. So hopefully I can lower my power consumption. Well, I guess we'll do before and after. And uh, all right, so I got to start printing this thing. All right, cool.